a 3D generative model for structure-based drug design. Drug molecules take effect by binding to some specific proteins. Designing molecules that bind to a target protein binding site is one of the most challenging tasks in the field of structure-based drug design. The challenge is basically twofold. Enormous space of feasible chemicals and conformational degree of freedom. In recent years, we have witnessed the rapid development of deep generative models in drug design. The majority of them are based on string and graph representation of molecules. However, these methods are hardly applicable to finding molecules that fit a protein binding site because they are unable to perceive 3D structures as they operate on 1D and 2D domain. Recently, there have been some algorithms for generating 3D molecules. However, these methods can only generate independent 3D molecules and cannot generate molecules for drug targets. Considering the limitation of previous works, our goal is designing a model that can both capture the 3D structure of specific protein binding site and directly generate molecules in the binding site. Before generating something, we have to figure out how to represent something. Therefore, we have to settle a fundamental problem, which is how to represent molecules in the context of proteins. Inspired by the electron density representation, we design to implicitly represent molecules as a continuous density map, where positions occupied by atoms are assigned high density. Formally speaking, a molecule is represented by a function that takes both protein structure and any 3D coordinates as input, and outputs the probability of the position being occupied by some atom. We represent molecules in the context of protein as continuous density maps. Next, the problem is how to implement such representation. In this work, we propose a coordinate network architecture that is equivariant and graph convolutional to represent molecule density maps. The network mainly consists of three stages. First, it encodes each atom in the contextual protein. Then, given an arbitrary 3D coordinate, R, it aggregates features nearby R. Finally, the aggregated feature is fed to an MLP to predict the density of atom occupation. Now, let's assume we have a trend network that can predict atomic density for a protein. The problem is how to generate a 3D molecule from the density map. We design to place atom one by one autoregressively. It is worth noting that after placing each atom, we feed the protein structure along with previously placed atoms to the network to update the density map in order to capture dependencies between generated atoms. Finally, we use open Babel to construct bonds between atoms. There are two key advantages of autoregressive generation. First, it is capable of capturing relationship between generated atoms. Second, it is by definition capable of multimodal sampling without the need of introducing additional latent variables. The last problem is how to train such model. The training data is a paired protein drug 3D structure. We first mask some atoms in the drug molecules. Then we feed the structure to the model to predict a density map. We increase the density on the position of masked atoms and decrease the density otherwise. Here are some numer numerical results. 
Our algorithm can sample molecules that have reasonably good drug properties and bonding affinities. And here are some visualization examples. Thank you for your listening.